Today we're going to look at what happens in a helicopter after it has an engine failure. Now to simulate this, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the throttle of the helicopter back to idle and this is going to completely disengage the engine from the main rotor system and we're going to start dropping rapidly. Now when that occurs, the airflow through the rotor system keeps it turning and we're going to slightly delay our entry so you get the full effect and you hear the low rotor RPM horn sound. So here we go. So the engine is now at idle. The air now going through the rotor system is keeping it spinning. Now we are dropping at about 2,000 feet per minute rate of descent right now and we are traveling through the air at about 70 knots. Now we're going to find a place to land and on our way down we're going to control our rotor RPM with our collective pitch. So if we need faster rotor RPM we decrease the pitch in the blades and if we need slower rotor RPM we increase the pitch in the blades. Now we're going to drive this all the way down to about 100 feet above the ground. Now when we get to 100 feet what we're going to do is we're going to pitch the nose of the helicopter up. And what this is going to do is it's going to slow us down horizontally and vertically. It's like the brakes in your car when you're coming up to an uh, intersection. And this is also going to charge the rotor system on the helicopter. It's uh, going to increase the rotor RPM slightly. And as we get close to the ground, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the pitch in the blades to give us a nice smooth landing. So as we're up at 100 feet here, the nose of the helicopter is pitched up and now we're slowing down and you can slightly hear the rotor RPM increase. Now, as we get close to the ground, we're gonna start increasing the pitch in the blades. And what this is gonna do, is it's gonna give us a nice smooth touchdown on the runway surface here. I hope that answers any questions you have about engine failures in helicopters, and we'll see you at the next Eurosafety educational video.